Right, I hadn't done one of these for a while, so I thought I was due one. This is every single pair of gloves that I've worn for the 2014-15 uh, season. Starting off up here in the top left-hand corner from pre-season training. And, um, well, I only wore these for training. These were just keepers. Um, just in turn, or I can't even remember the full name. But yeah, I ordered these by accident, really. Asked for a different pair. I ordered a pair of Pro Duels, and they sent me these. So I thought, so I'll keep them. It's more for training. They're right, super soft palm and red palm quite um quite good looking glove to be fair they fit well dribble it was all right i wore these um quite a lot in pre-season probably a few times for coaching as well as you can see the fingertips when he wants to focus held up all right not a bad glove moving on i've had several pairs of these cells um as you may have seen i had a different pair that split and these are the pair that replaced the pair that split these are all right. What is um, quite a few um, pre-season games and uh, start of the season had it really well. Um, just grip, oh, hello, good hand. grip just started to fade and sort of turned pink as well. As you can see, it's different from the wrist straps. We've got a pink palm, but you know, very good glove. Just shame about the stitching issues that I had on the previous pairs. And my VG Freeze uh, again. What is in the couple pre-season and. Um, at the start of the season, very good gloves. Big fan of how they look. Probably the best um, VG3 glove I've seen in a while. Palms held up really well. Um, just dried off and now, and as you can hear, they sound pretty crap. Um, I suppose they still offer some grip, but they'd be alright. Then my Puma Kings, uh, I've got these off eBay. Got two pairs of these actually. I've got another brand new pair still waiting to be used. So wore these again. Um, I wore these for warm ups for pre season and like during the season. These are really and I wore these a lot um, for training. And these are really good gloves, impressed me a lot. One of the best flat palms I've used. So I mean, I wore these on 3G and sort of dry pitches. And both gloves are held up really well. The backhands have taken a bit of a beat in there, but the palms have held up really well. Hardly anywhere. Next, moving on to my gloves that I wore for my club side. I've just got them. Um, got the badge on the back there, as you can see. The Keeper ID gloves. A bit disappointed with these, really. Fit was brilliant. Wrist strap was a tiny bit too short. It's only. I think for the size of the glove, how short the wrist strap is. So that put me off. And the palm was only super soft, so didn't really offer masses of grip, but no, right. Moving down to, bought these because Carlo Cudicini used to, well, UC Yaskalina and Carlo Cudicini, two of my favourite keepers growing up. Yaskalina wore these and Cudicini wore the flat palm version. I've got the flat palm version, but I wore these just for a uh, chance came up to get these and I loved them. Wore them in a few games and really enjoyed them. Brilliant gloves. Um, didn't want to bath them too much so I want to keep them for my collection. So they stay there. They got stuck to a bit of packaging, so the back ends have torn there, which is annoying. But I still, you know, I still think they're really good gloves. Got these Keeper Sports. Um, again, very good gloves. Um, have some of my best games in these. Um, fit really well. I don't, I don't really like the look of them, but that didn't fuss me too much. Just the palm was very good as a four mil. As I think it says like a super graphite palm. That's what it's meant, or graphite stained palm, but it's very good palm. Um, in all conditions, it's really good. Nice strap as well, just sort of standard. The JFK, um, I think they called it hybrid, but it's basically just a vapor grip free cut with two uh, negative middle fingers. Very good glove. Um, these were again held up really well until a striker came and did that to one of them. Um, so after that, I didn't really wear them. Um, I know I could stitch, probably stitch it back up and carry on wearing these, but I wasn't too keen to. And again, I bought these the flat palm version. I think it's called the Pride. Just got these for training. Um, they had a wet and dry latex on. It's all right. Um, nothing special. The fit wasn't amazing. Uh, but he's in a size ten. A little bit baggy, but yeah, I just wanted to try. And because I got them for like twenty quid. All right, they'll do a job. Bought these Sondicos. Um, basically, 
just warm to see what they're like. I know they're the sort of cheap version of um well not cheap version, that's just the cheap gloves that are produced by Sports Direct and Sondika. Um but they got these have got a dual latex, so as you can see just underneath it's like, it looks ribbed but it's basically a latex on the inside of the glove. And these were pretty good to be fair. Um for the price, I think they're about twenty twenty five pounds if that. And um, yeah, they held up all right. If they had a wrap fun, they'd be a quality glove. The fun that it's got seen there. Yeah, um doesn't fit too great, but you know, as you see the palms held up really well and I've worn them quite a lot. Getting down to my favourite gloves of all these, KZ Wardies in so many games, 10, 15 games and quite a few training sessions and they held up really well. Uh, palms can slightly pink, as you can see, compared to the wrist strap. I've probably got these in a the half size too small, I've got these in the 9.5 and I should have gone for a 10. But these were brilliant gloves. 100% uh, recommend these. Out of all of them, if I had to pick a pair, I'd pick these. Just in terms of uh, grip, they're unreal. Best gloves there. Next, these Sondico Flat Balm Classic Gloves. Got these for £20 off Sports Direct when they're you know, so 60. Um, got these towards the end of the season just to try them out, really, and they're brilliant. Very good gloves. Um, not usually a massive fan of Flat Palm, but these fit really well. Nice strap. Palm was very good, and I used them in the dry, and it was very good then. These Alias Predators, they stand out a bit, don't they? They're purple palm. They've got Nova Latex on these. These were very good. In very good condition. I've got these off another um, member of the goalkeeper.com Facebook page. Um, goalkeepertalk.com Facebook page and also their forum. But yeah, I've got them off a member of that. Cheers, Connor. But um, yeah, very good gloves. Next up, the Calier. I can't even remember the full name of these. Just Calier's. Got these in their half price sale, so they were like 25, I think, instead of 50. Really good gloves. Size 10, they look a bit funny. They've got like surround cut, so two rolls in the middle, and then surround pinky on the index. Really good gloves. Latex was brilliant. Such a soft and like very grippy latex. A nice wrist strap, nice design on the back end. Just a shame. The very first time I wore them, they split there. Gutted. And. To be fair, they replaced them with a brand new pair. No arguments. Um, I've got a brand new pair. Still waiting to be worn. Yeah, very good gloves again. And finally, my Calmers. Wore these for the closing games of the season. Um, got these just to try them. See what they're like. And I've worn these in quite a few training sessions as well. And they've held up very well. Very good. Very impressed with the latex on these. For, I think, they're either 20 or 29 English pounds. Very good gloves, and they held it really well, very comfortable. Um, got a good looking glove, good design. But that's all my gloves. Sorry about the length of the videos, I'll do ramble on a bit. Any questions about any of these, uh, please feel free to contact me and go on. I mean, I've got quite a few pairs waiting to be worn for next season, as you can see. Um, there's my other pair of Calliers, I've got these Roll Sports, Ambo, Geometries. Gun cuts, another pair of JFKs, another pair of Pumas, um, pair of oh, what are these? Uh, Nike SGTs uh, with the trophy foam on them, so the pro grade foam, and these cameras like with the VG3 cut. So I've got all these ready to be worn for next season. So I'll be probably reviewing these or play testing them. If there's any specific pair you want me to sort of look at trying straight away or as soon as possible, please feel free to get in contact. I've just remembered these. Also had the Alias Predator Pros, which are which very very good gloves. These are worn really well. Wore these a lot, a lot on 3G. A lot of training with these, and you notice in some of my videos I've been wearing these. Um, yeah, they felt really well. I also lent them to another keeper as well. That's why they're worn quite a bit. Worn these MD Pros in a competition on Facebook. I was very impressed with these. Um, Giga Clip Latex. And they fit really nice. I've got them just because they're like the uh, fingertip on the end. These fit really well. Good gloves. And also, very last pair. Great save. Uh, I can't remember the name of these, but they're wet and dry, supreme grip, and they've got like the rifle cuts of the 
index and middle finger are the rolled and pink and the ring and the pinky are negative as you can see on that film. Yeah, that's every single pair of gloves that I've worn for the season. So these have been washed and dried. Same with the threads. But yeah, these are all the ones I'm waiting for next season. Any questions, get all of me. Um like, comment and subscribe and all the rest and I'll try and uh, keep producing more videos. Cheers, thanks for watching.